Praise the Lord. How are you doing today? Thanks for watching. God bless you. How is life and how's your personal relationship with the Lord? I pray the Lord will continue to uphold you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today, by God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, we shall be looking at the um, topic, Breaking Evil Dedication and Bondages. Praise the Lord. Breaking Evil Dedication and Bondages. Praise the Lord. And we'll also be looking at some scriptures and look at what is this evil dedication and bondages. Praise the Lord. And you know, when we look at um, evil dedication, especially let me start with child dedication. And I'm going to use my example by God's grace. This is the personal experience which the Lord Jesus Christ has delivered me from. Hallelujah. Like before I was born, my mom told me that she went to see all this um, evil um, priest and they would go to do some ritual by the sea and all that. Praise the Lord. But I know that God gave me to her because she also told me that the Lord has promised that she was going to give her a child. But she wasn't uh, patient for God's promise. And you know, she had to go to Abilene seeking some help, assistance to help God. And I know that it was God that gave me to her. Praise the Lord. So, all that has made me, she actually you know, dedicated and did all that. They had covenant with this evil spirit and all that, which I didn't know, of course. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. When I gave my life to Jesus Christ at uh, the age of 19 years, I was really fervent, and I'm still fervent by the grace of God. It's really by God's help. I really love the Lord and um, I wanted to know more about Jesus. I was just like, I am still by God's I, I was, I began to deny myself, carrying my cross every day and following Jesus. Praise the Lord. Just wanting to know more of Jesus Christ. Amen. And along the line, I began to experience a lot of uh, unexplainable um, failure, drawback, hardship, and uh, sicknesses. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God began to speak to me through dreams. And I began to wonder, how is this possible? And why is all this happening to me? You know, I began to like just wonder in my heart, like what could this be? Praise the Lord. And then God began to reveal some things to me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Through dreams. And sometimes the Lord will just be speaking to my heart, you know, about things that have happened in my past. Um, before I was born and even when um, I was growing up. Then also my case happened to be uh, multiple bondages. Collective captivity, yes, praise the Lord. Also, my hands, who I grew up with, she was an occult. She was into occult, witchcraft, name it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many people don't know because she was one of the leaders, women leaders in the church. <laughs> yes. So there's, there was a lot of deception. And I grew up with that deception and lie too until the Lord began to open my eyes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Even at the, at, there was a time she herself was, um, she bewitched me and she also um, introduced me, initiated me into all this witchcraft unknowingly. Praise the Lord. Yes. And at a point, I was seeing my mom in the dream as if it was my mom that was, <laughs> that was afflicting me. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Until the Lord opened, you know, the veil. And the Lord helped me to see that this person that was always chasing me in my dream was not even my mom. It was my aunt. Oh no, I spent <laughs> over 20 years living with her and believing all this way that she loved me. You see? So my brothers and sisters, there is so much evil how they praise the Lord. Yes, even my own dad. Though what my uh, mommy did, she was just doing it because she, she wanted help. She she was uh, old and she wanted children. She was just doing it out of you know, sincerity. My mom, she's a wonderful woman, but she wanted help. She was barren and she wanted children and she just did what she thought was okay. Praise the Lord. But my father... He was another story mm -hmm. because he too, he had so many other wives, concubines, and so he too had his own enchantments, name it, evil dedication, rituals that he was making against me with his wife to use me for one thing or the other, praise the Lord. So it's been a multiple um, bondages, but to God with the glory, there is no bondage. There's no power of darkness that can overcome the power of light of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Colossians 2, 14 to 15, the Bible says, He blotted out the handwriting of ordinances which was against us, which was contrary to us. He took it out of the way and nailed it to his cross. Praise the Lord. Heaven spoiled powers and principalities he made an open show of them hallelujah triumphing over them in it amen also in colossians the bible says that we are complete in christ who is the head of all principalities and power hallelujah so jesus has given us all the victory in on the cross and it's through his blood hallelujah praise the lord However, the devil is legalistic. He knows the word, the letter. Yes, but not the spirit. Hallelujah. So he is thrive. The devil thrive on our ignorance of the scripture and our disobedience or lukewarmness or lack of fervency or disobedience to, to, towards our relationship or towards the commandments of God. And... Um, our not seeking the Lord and seeking his kingdom and righteousness. He thrive on that. When we say, oh, we are born again and we stop uh, following Jesus Christ, carrying our cross, living a holy life, the enemy will take advantage. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As I was saying, there are evil dedication and bondages which can be categorized into like three. We have generational, which could be from your family, from your parents, or from your great-great-grandparents. Family, generational, uh, evil dedication. It could be territorial, collective captivity, yes. Maybe the leaders in your community or in your city or in your town, if they are wicked people, yes, it happens in even cities. Mm -hmm. It happens all over the world. Because those leaders, they want power. They want to rule. They will go to the devil. Yes, and they are going <laughs> to, you know, just end up. They, they are going to dedicate the city, the land to the devil. So everyone that is living there is in that captivity unless that person is truly a child of God, prayerful to break out of that collective captivity. That is just the spiritual truth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And also, there are personal dedication and bondages too. When you willingly offer yourself to the devil, for money, for whatever, marriage, maybe for children also. You are handling yourself over to uh, to the devil, opening your life to the devil, yes. And the generation to come too. 
or unless one repents and break those bondages. Praise the Lord. I pray the Lord we help us. These bondages are satanic spiritual covenants. They are blood covenants. Many of those bondages are initiated through blood. Yes. And once your um, parents or forefathers or leaders in the land or personally you offer yourself to the devil, you are in a blood covenant. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so there's a demon a principality that is assigned to each person in that family, yes, and um, to that child, especially in that child dedication, there's a particular demon that is that will be monitoring that that child, and that demon will be growing up exactly <laughs> with that child. Praise the Lord, and this is scriptural. Like we were looking at a boy who has um, epileptic in the scripture. And Jesus um, was asking the father, how long has this been happening to this child? This is your son. Amen. And then the father said, from his childhood. Yes. So demonic oppression or possession could have been from childhood. It will be growing with the child. Hallelujah. And the same thing with my case until Jesus, you know, broke that yoke. Like there are times I talk, I know that this is not me. So something is talking, using my voice. And there was a time the Lord actually opened my eyes in a vision. I saw the being. It was like I was wearing a mascot. Yes, it was like I was wearing a mascot. All those uh, Disney stuff, kitties, Mickey Mouse. A uh, mascot that they use in party that people will go into it where it's like uh, you know just for fun and all that. This is the spiritual issue. Yes, I saw myself like in that demons like um like I was wearing a mascot and I have <laughs> been born again. <laughs> Hallelujah! Over 10, 15 years when the Lord opened my eyes to see this, I'm like what? And all this while. I've been going for several deliverances. Yes, it's like in it's in layers. The Bible says that every tree that my father has not planted will be uprooted. Say that the axe has been set at the root of the tree, and every tree that my father has not planted will be uprooted Hallelujah, and cast into fire. So this work of deliverance, especially when it's comes to evil dedication at times it is it may not be a once and for all deliverance it may be uh in stages hallelujah does it mean that god cannot deliver you once and for all he, he can he is able <laughs> he's mighty amen to deliver however the lord allows some issue in my life for me to understand some spiritual deep things and also to teach me spiritual warfare because I never believed in spiritual warfare I never believed in the witchcraft and all that I always think oh the superstition I never believe in you know all those stuff demons huh? <laughs> praise the Lord <laughs> amen so the Lord may allow me allow some issues hallelujah in our lives praise the Lord just to grow up, grow us up. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, praise the Lord. And so I, as I was growing in my spiritual life, the Lord was doing the deliverance in stages in my life. Yeah, I've been through a lot of, as in, um, deliverances. Many deliverances. Many of them are violent because the, the demons will want to come out and it will be violent. Like, she was given to me. She was dedicated to me. I am not going to leave. And they, need, they will leave in Jesus' name because they have, in fact, they have left everything. I've got, <laughs> everything is gone now. I'm delivered. I'm free. And I thank God for giving me this privilege to be able to share this with some people out there. Praise the Lord. So we need to continue to walk with the Lord, abiding in the word of God. Amen. Some demons are going to leave when you are 
abiding in the word of God and praying constantly and living obedient life in the word of God, they will live. They will just live naturally because your life would have become so full of fire of God, spirit of God, that they won't be able to stay. Yes. And there are some demons that, you know, God will want you to learn spiritual warfare. God will want you in yourself to, to like, give them the instruction. Cast them out. Amen. And the same way, this evil brain or principality, there was a day the Lord told me, now, tell that spirit to get out of your life. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And to the glory of God, I took authority in the name of Jesus. And I'm like, you, this demon, your hand is today. In the name of Jesus, out. Amen. And to the glory of God, boom, the, the, the power of the Holy Spirit just hit me, bow, on the floor. And then it's, it went out. The spirit left to the glory of God. And I'm delivered completely by his grace and mercy. Amen. And this has been a journey over 20 years. Amen. And because I was ignorant, yes. If I had known at the beginning when I gave my life to Christ, I would have quickly started my deliverance. But I didn't know that until maybe about, about 10, eight, 10 years later. And I began to experience a lot of stuff in my life. Then I began to question some things. I began to ask God questions and God began to open my eyes to this spiritual um truth hallelujah and that was when i began to submit myself to deliverance and then i began to like grow more in my spiritual work and <clears throat> god began to teach me personal deliverance too amen so my brothers and sisters in christ it is important for us to examine our lives yes we of any evil um, satanic spiritual covenant and break them in the name of Jesus. Break them consistently. Don't think because one is out. You need to. We need to search until everything you are clean and the Holy Spirit is saying, "All right, we are free." Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for the victory of the cross. Yes, our parents have made blood covenant in some areas. And, and so they, are, they have dedicated us one way or the other. And this is like passing through fire, just that the monarch, yes, the, the, the monarch, um idol, idol worshippers, they make their children to pass through fire. And God detests this. So my brothers and sisters, let's examine our lives in any way that we have been dedicated Maybe through friends, yes, yeah, some friends too, but I've done something on your behalf that you don't know, just to initiate. We need to break this covenant in the name of Jesus and resist the devil. Take authority in the name of Jesus and destroy every bondage in Jesus' name. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please repent of your sins. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died for your sins. And um, God raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. God bless you.